بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيد المرسلين حبيبنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين أما بعد فقد قال الله تعالى في القرآن المجيد والفرقان الحميد فعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والذين جاهدوا فينا لنهدينهم سبلنا وإن الله لمع المحسنين صدق الله العظيم Beloved viewers, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us in his final message to entire humanity, وَالَّذِينَ جَاهَدُوا فِينَا As for those who strive and struggle and work in our part, لَنَهْدِيَنَّهُمْ سُبُولَنَا we will indeed guide them to the roads that we have chosen. The roads that we want him to take to be successful. وَإِنَّ اللَّهَ لَمَعَ الْمُحْسِنِينَ For most certainly, surely indeed, Allah is attached to and with those who are actively doing good and doing his bidding. The ways to Allah are many, many. Some say equal to the breaths that we take. But our imagination cannot fathom what the ways of Allah are. But everything good, everything beneficial, everything that promotes love and peace have to do with the path of Allah. And we have to ceaselessly strive. And we have to be actives, act, activists in this path. Because we have a whole lot of pontification, but deeds are wanting. Allama Iqbal wants to take up this challenge of Allah not for himself alone, but for the entire Ummah. Because this challenge came with the mission of our beloved Nabi Muhammadur Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And we are supposed to strive and act at all times. A Muslim is not one who is laid back, indolent, and lazy, and especially to the youth of his time, and I think I am already nearly 81, and of my time, they are more indolent than they were then, I believe. So he says, Tere sofe he afrangi, Tere kali he irani, Lahu muchko rulati he, Jawano ki tanasani. Oh youth, your sofas are the best continental ones. And your carpets are woven in Iran. But my blood is boiling over because and I can see the laid back and the indolent attitude that you have adopted. So that is our problem and therefore he tells us, O oh Muslims, you are different. Humanity, you and the Muslims. But Muslims, you have been chosen. Kuntum khaira ummatin ukhrijat linnas. You are the best of all people that have been evolved from the service of mankind. And therefore, you, O oh Muslim, the yari ishq mein apna maqam paida kar. In the yam, in the realm of love, of amity, of peace, 
fine niche for yourself, find a position and find the status that is yours. Naya zamana, naya subho sham peda kar go and create a new era, a new time that is completely different from that which you are living in. And naya subho sham peda kar your eaves and your dawns must be new and invigorated and full of action and full of motivation to do good. So this is what you have to do if you are a Muslim. But he himself, he put himself into the picture and you can see him as we have discussed in the past how humble he was and never after wealth moving away from affluence and even the affluent. Mira tariqa ameeri nahi faqeeri hai. Mira tariqa ameeri nahi faqeeri hai. Khudi na bech, khudi na bech, faqeeri me naam peda kar. Yes, be assured that I am not after wealth and fame and glory and pride. I am a fakir. I am a struggling person, always in want of things. But you, as I have not, you, Khudina Bej, don't sell your soul, your personality, your individuality. Don't sell it. People become sometimes friends of kings and presidents and so on to get some kickbacks. Yes. Nahi tera na sheman qasr sultani ke gumbat par tu shahi hai basera kar pahaaron ki chatano par. Your abode is not to hang around the domes of the palaces of the kings for handouts and so on. Like many people do, some scholars do. Nahi tera na sheman and of course some people call them scholars for dollars. Nahi tera na sheman. قصر السلطانی کی گمبت پر تو شاہی ہے بسیرا کر پہاڑوں کی چٹانوں پر You are an eagle You must make your abode in the highest peaks on the highest peaks of the mountains But we like to because our visions have changed We do not struggle and we do not want to apply ourselves and we do not want to be the mujahids that Islam wants. وَالَّذِينَ جَاهَدُوا فِينَا And those who struggle in our way, we do not want. Because Allah has granted us with the vision of an eagle. But our love for indolence, laziness and slavery has transplanted therein the sight of a bat. فیض فطرت نے تجھے دید شاہی بخشا فیض فطرت نے تجھے دید شاہی بخشا جس میں رکھ دی ہے غلامی نے نگاہ خفاش The grace of Almighty has blessed you with the vision of an eagle but your love of slavery and mediocrity has transplanted therein the sight of a bat. Yes, you are supposed to have the vision of an eagle. And that was what has, what has happened to people in our ummah. Even in the scholarship, you will find that we have rented ulama, ulama giving fatwas and even passing death sentences on people without having a good look at whether those people deserve to be wiped out from the face of the earth. And a Muslim is supposed to be independent at all time. For Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us everything. All we have got to do is apply ourselves and struggle as he uses the word koshi na tamam. Sitaro se aage jahan aur bhi hai Abhi ishq ke imtihaan aur bhi hai. Beyond 
all these stars in the firmament which your eyes can behold. There are many, many planets to traverse. And if you are a lover, then for love, there are many, many stages still. And you have to traverse those stages. And you are not made to serve the world. Allah has made everything subservient to you. You are supposed to become independent by harnessing everything. Na tu zami ke liye hai, na asma ke liye, jahan hai tere liye, tu nahi jahan ke liye. You are not made to serve the earth, nor the heavens. Everything is made to serve you, not you, them. وَسَخَّرَ لَكُمْ مَا فِي السَّمَاوَاتِ وَمَا فِي الْأَرْضِ Allah says, and we have made subservient to you, obedient to you, whatsoever is in the heavens and whatsoever is on the earth. And yet, we love the role of being beggars. Whereas Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made us independent and he has even told us that we must go and traverse the heavens and the earth. Ya ma'ashar al-jinni wal-ins in istata'atum an tanfudu min aqtari s-samawati wal-ard fanfudu la tanfuduna illa bi sultan. Oh, the clans of the jinn and the men. If Ya ma'ashar al-jinni wal-ins in istata'atum if you can Penetrate through the different regions of the heavens and the earth, then penetrate. And you will not be able to do so illa bi sultan except with authority. Get the authority, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given the authority to man. وَلَقَدْ كَرَّمْنَا بَنِي آدَمْ And we have given the children of Adam, every child of Adam, we have given him dignity, decorum and power. So the problem is that we do not know our status that we can move heavenwards and reach Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala himself and be masters of the universe. Wa sallallahu ala nabiyyil kareem wa salamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. وفي العز للعبد الذليل تبلغ بالقليل من القليل أو بالقليل من القليل وأي السد للسفر الطويل وأي السد للسفر الطويل وفي 